Summer 2024 is here. And if you're anything like me, you run hot year round. And during summer, you're baking. However, you can still be stylish in warm weather. First, we're going to discuss the fabrics. Then we're gonna move on to the outfits. So without further ado, let's discuss seven summer outfits for seven summer days. When you're choosing your fabrics, choose natural fibers, such as merino wool, silk, linen, and cotton, and go with a lightweight open weave, as this fabric allows air to flow through easily. Linen is a hypoallergenic breathable textile, commonly made from the flax plant, and is great for hot and humid weather. Its natural wrinkles add both texture and character to your outfit. Merino wool is an ultra-fine, durable, natural fiber that comes from merino sheep. It's lightweight and breathable and can be worn year-round. It's odor-resistant and moisture-wicking, making it great for layering, which you'll see later on in the video. Cotton is a natural fiber that comes from cotton plants. Cotton is hyperallergenic, breathable, and absorbs moisture, making it great for summer weather. Popular cotton fabrics include denim and chino, both of which will be used to compose our outfits. And silk. Silk is a natural protein fiber that comes from silkworms. Now, let's discuss some accessories. First, let me talk about this straw fedora from Southern Gents. I have three of their fedoras, and I'm thoroughly happy with my purchases. I was on a recent trip back home to Texas, and let me tell you, I am no longer used to the humidity, but this hat came through like a champ. There was no deformation and no odor. I can't say this for my other straw hats. So, if you want to get a great hat, check out Southern Gents. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just keeping it real. Their hats are phenomenal. Our next accessories are no-show socks. These socks are going to allow air to get onto your ankles and up your legs. I typically go with thin socks that come close to the color of the shoe just in case the socks are not completely covered by the shoe. So, white sneakers, I rock white no-show socks. Black or brown shoes, I wear black no-show socks. Blue shoes, blue no-show socks. And gray shoes, gray no-show socks. Onto our footwear. This is the time of year when I try to stay away from boots, unless it's a less hot summer day. In that case, I'll wear a Chelsea boot. So during summer, I prefer lightweight sneakers, minimal sneakers, drivers, and loafers. Now, let's put it all together. Keeping in mind that when you go with solid colors with no big logos, the aesthetic of your outfit will look cleaner and more elevated. This will be less distracting. The pieces will be more versatile, allowing you to get dressed quicker with less thought. And you'll be getting more bang for your buck. These are ideas for you to mimic. And guys, I'm telling you, if you do this, your lady will thank you. And so will your wallet because you won't have to spend extra money on more pieces to achieve the same aesthetic. Each garment I'm about to show you will match everything else. They are completely versatile. Sunday's outfit, we have a cotton textured polo sweater in oatmeal, dark blue traveler denim, and a brown linen sports jacket. This jacket is going to ensure that air flows in and out to help cool you down. Footwear for this outfit is going to be a pair of split toe Bordeaux loafers. Sunday's fragrance is Jake's House by Henry Rose. Jake's House is a fresh aquatic with florals and citrus and honey. This has an amazing scent profile. When it catches the breeze, this fragrance is like nothing else. Monday's outfit is a navy colored merino wool tee with white traveler denim. Our footwear will be dark gray suede drivers. These are interesting because these have three stripes on the sides, black, gray, and blue. A nice feature when you want to tie in more colors. If you want to dress this up a little bit, you can tuck in your shirt and add one of your sports jackets. Monday's fragrance is Solil Atali by Mancera. This is a citrus woody fragrance with orange and bergamot. There's pink pepper, there's rose and vetiver and cedar. This is a perfect daytime scent and great for those times when you're gonna be close to others and you don't wanna be offensive. Now for Tuesday's outfit, beginning with the top. This is a short sleeve linen button up. This is not a button down shirt because there's no buttons holding down the collar. The shirt is 100% linen and some will shy away from it because of the wrinkles. But I submit to you that the wrinkles add a unique texture that you can't get naturally with anything else. The wrinkles add character to your outfit and will help set you apart from the other men who just have wrinkly shirts. Footwear for this outfit are a pair of burnished brown leather loafers. 
and the hat is a Strafador from Southern Gents. Today's fragrance is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Home. This is an aromatic fougere, which is an olfactive family. It's green, it's herbaceous, it's citrus, it's florals, it's lavender, it's classically masculine. For Wednesday's outfit, we're going monochromatic with all blue. The top is a short sleeve merino wool button up and it's paired with navy chinos. Footwear for this outfit are navy knit sneakers. Wednesday's fragrance is Prada Amber Pour Home. Like Dolce and Gamana Pour Home, this is also a fougere fragrance, but this is more of a year round fragrance. It's a warm amber citrus fragrance that gives off a soapy vibe. It's a fresh out of the shower fragrance. This is great if you're lounging around the house all day and you just wanna spray on something that feels good, clean and fresh. Thursday's outfit is featured here in this photo. This is an outfit that I wore on my recent trip to Texas. This is a merino wool tee with brown chinos. The jacket is navy merino wool. Footwear for this outfit are a pair of gray hybrid loafers. These shoes have a brown stripe that runs along the top of the soles. While we were in Texas, we got caught in a horrible thunderstorm and these shoes got rained on. And I walked miles in these shoes and my feet never hurt once. These are some of the most amazing shoes I've ever worn in my life. Now, I'm not just saying this for the video. These shoes are extremely comfortable. And after surviving that week and still looking great, I'm sold on hybrid dress shoes. And I wanna give credit where credit is due. These specific shoes are by Magnani. These are calf leather dress hybrid shoes with a penny loafer design. As I mentioned in a previous video, I know that hybrid dress shoes are not everyone's favorite shoe. But gentlemen, if you try these shoes, you will not be disappointed. Thursday's fragrance is by Cartier. This is Declaration Dun Soir. This is a warm, spicy, fresh rose fragrance. I'm not the biggest fan of rose fragrances. However, this one is spicy enough that I actually enjoy wearing it. Now, we've arrived at Black Friday, another monochromatic look. Starting with our tops, the outer layer is a black polo cardigan made of cotton and silk. Underneath is a black merino wool tee and the trousers are a pair of black traveler denim. I wore these same pair of black denim traveling to Texas. They are incredibly comfortable and there is no odor whatsoever and they're a bit stretchy. Now, if you haven't seen my other video, how to style blue jeans for men, be sure to check that out. I washed these black denim with the same method that I spoke of in that video. And these jeans dried very fast with no wrinkles. Footwear for this outfit are a pair of my black leather double monk straps. Friday's fragrance has been a long time favorite of mine. This is by the one and only Tom Ford. This is Grey Vetiver Eau de Parfum. This is a masculine, woody, spicy vetiver fragrance that gives off a smoky vibe as it dries down. So fellas, if you're meeting your fiance's grandma for the first time, you probably wouldn't want to rock this one. Stick to the product that I mentioned before. This fragrance has a bad boy attitude about it. You're going to project both seriousness and professionalism. I can tell you from personal experience, if you're at the office or you're rocking a sports jacket at a summer party, this one will fit right in. I've gotten compliment after compliment wearing this fragrance. And because it's versatile, it works well being dressed up and dressed down, which is why I paired it with this outfit. Question, can you wear a long sleeve in the dead of summer? I'll give you a moment to decide. Absolutely you can. Saturday's outfit is a blue long sleeve merino wool sweater. It's ultra thin and it blocks direct sunlight. My shorts will be a light blue cotton linen blend. Now about the shorts. If you want a cleaner, more proportioned aesthetic, make sure they don't fall below the knees or have any extra pockets. So no cargo shorts guys. Those shorts are going to add bulk and throw off your proportions. Our footwear will be those gray suede drivers mentioned earlier. Saturday's fragrance will be Cap Citrat by L'Occitane. This is an aquatic citrus with woody spices. And there you have it. Seven summer outfits for seven summer days. Remember gentlemen, if you mind the fit and stick to the color palette, you'll be on your way to building an awesome interchangeable wardrobe. And if you got value from this video, be sure to give me a like, comment, and subscribe and share this with someone you know. Until next time, take care.